that well and truly shows that we have conquered the Pugwash. Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the match reaction for Hull City versus Fleetwood Town. 2-0 down to 3-2 up. 94th minute, Louis Coyle. Malik Wilkes started the comeback off. A comeback completed between the 77th minute and the 94th minute. Oh, boy. <laughs> yes. Uh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. Now, because, you know, it's just been Christmas and money saving, I didn't watch this game. And for the first half, we, it, we sounded on top from the updates that I've read. And, yeah. Brilliant. I'm uh, just reading here. Grant McCann's inspired substitutions win the game for Hull City. Um, there's another one here. Good God Almighty, City into the quarter-final of the Papa John's Trophy. What have we just seen? Louis Cole with an absolute rippler to seal a dramatic 3-2 comeback win. The Wembley dream remains. Apparently it was an absolute wallop. Someone says here, uh, um, lads were an atrocious for 77 minutes and McCann was stupid to select Josh. We, from I disagree with that. I do disagree with that. Um... One positive, Coyle, Smith, KLP, Salam, all Hullborn lads getting minutes, great to see. Um, someone says, uh, nice little hug between Grant and KLP at the end there. It's clear to see who the issue's with. Oh my God, what a goal. I've just seen the goal. Oh my God. Oh my God. Corner whipped in by Honeyman, punch clear, out to Louis Coyle. He's about 30 yards from goal. What's he doing shooting from there? What is he doing? <laughs> what a turnaround. <laughs> yes. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. But that was mega. That was mega. That was mega. I've said on my Instagram today that... Um, Today was going to be difficult for reasons that's keeping private. A couple of people know why. My family know why. But, yeah. So the team was uh, Matt Ingram in goal. A back four of Louis Coyle, the captain. Um, Sean McLaughlin. And here's a good one. Andy Smith. With his first team debut for Hull City. Out of the academy. Brilliant. And Callum Elder at left back. Um, Alfie Jones... Dan Batty and Regan Slater were a midfield trio. Mayer and Scott were on the wings and McGuinness was up top. I mean, I think with that, he's just trying to build McGuinness's match sharpness up again. But, yeah. Anyway, the subs, Long, Wilkes, Honeyman, Lewis Potter, Greaves, Salam and Leek. So, in there then, we've got Coyle, Smith, Lewis Potter, Greaves, Salam and Jake Leek. Out of the academy, and we and in Coyle's case, slash born in Hull. You love it, you love it. Um, by the sounds of things, we uh we were very quick. It was, I mean, third minute. We had a we had a little go, ball Batty looked for a ball over the top. Um, Ingram made a save a minute later. Elder with a block, and then Fleetwood led. Paddy Madden had too much space inside the area and found the bottom corner. Um, then Scott. Had a little go. Coyle flicked it on to Mayer. Who won as a corner. Nothing came from it. Um, Mayer had a shot blocked. Slater fired over. Um, Coyle played a good ball into Slater. who pulled it back for Scott in the middle. But um, Scott gets the ball trapped under his feet. And we were 1-0 we were down at the break. Um, we made three subs all at once at half-time. Wilkes, Honeyman and KLP came on for Batty, Scott and Mayer. 
Um, there was work to do in the second half. Uh, but uh, in the 53rd minute, Wes Burns um, had, had his shot deflected. That took it past Matt Ingram. Uh, however, there was positive signs early on. KLP drove forward, found Malik Wilkes, whose effort was blocked. Um, we nearly had an instant response. Wilkes found Coyle, who charged into the penalty area. He was looking for the far corner, but forced the goalkeeper to push it away. We had another couple of attacks. Elder down the left, found McGuinness in the middle. Um, McLaughlin headed over. KLP was denied. Then another change. Salam came off. McGuinness came no Salam came on McGuinness came off um Coyle had a go their keeper was making good saves Malik Wilkes put one back in the 78th minute and uh yeah Honeyman's corner headed in by Malik Wilkes we had 12 minutes plus extra time to find an equaliser and maybe even a winner two minutes later we would find a goal it would be Keen Lewis Potter Alfie Jones had a header that cannoned across the off the crossbar, KLP stabbed it home on the rebound. And then the tweet from Hull City was, Oh my God! Louis Coyle, what have you just done? The defender unleashes a thunderbolt from 30 yards. Unbelievable. Yep, yeah, and if I, if, I, if I just scroll back up on here to see the goal... It's absolutely brilliant. Honeyman's corner was whipped in. It was punched clear by Hilton in goal. Louis Coyle takes a touch, gets it on the floor. It's an absolute rocket. It's an absolute rocket by Louis Coyle. And that, ladies and gents, is how Hull City beat Captain Pugwash FC, Fleetwood United, once again. Up yours, Pugwash. Get in there. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you in round Number four, the quarter-final of the Papa John's Trophy. And we 